post show time everybody post show, post show time post show everybody's favorite show post show Yay. post show what you going to do what you going to do what you're going to do where we come for you with an episode script um <laughs> can i actually just bring something up for a second oh yes. um, sure we have a lot it's of about, time to bring up a lot of stuff Stix's desi- it's about Stix's design i liked her design in this episode think- <laughs> she wasn't even in this episode. I was going to say, what about like <laughs> exactly. was in this one? <laughs> I like her design no, of this episode, it's Invisible. Um. <laughs> no, but obviously when everyone saw Styx originally, everyone thought, oh my god, it's just basically Marine the Raccoon. Yes. However, yes. lately I've had been looking around like through like Zega related um, games and all that, but she actually also has a mix quite a big resemblance to Arya from Skies of Arcadia. Yes, that resemblance the- was definitely noted by a lot of people. Mm. That with, and also the fact she has a bo- boomerang. A big one at that. I think I'm actually at the point now where like, I view Marine and Styx as very separate characters. Um, what would you do if you found out they're actually long-lost sisters or relatives? Well, that's not going to happen, because, I mean... Oh, come on, this is Sonic. One, this well, is Sonic. One's, one's a raccoon and one's a jungle badger, so it's... Which, which by the way, I'm still saying jungle badger is the most ridiculous <laughs> thing. Is there even a jungle badger? Do we even find that out? I, uh, yeah, I think it is. I think there is a jungle badger. Check. There is a jungle badger somewhere, but it's just like... Um, um, you there's know honey what? badgers. You yeah, honey badger. Where... They couldn't call it a honey badger because that, that. Oh my god! Funny. Google honey badger. Oh, well, I don't. I don't know badger. Any... I, you I get a terrifying need... comparison. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, we. Uh... Well, one is also what... all you get is pictures of sticks. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> if, if yeah, um, a, a honey badger is a is a vicious um, is a vicious attacker that never stops, and uh, and uh, well, and sticks is slightly worse. Um. <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, to be, to be honest, honey badgers are probably more lethal in Far Cry 4 than they are. Oh, it, they, they can kill in Far Cry 4. Far Cry 4, they just appear out of nowhere. It's like, I can take a lion, buy an eagle, find honey badger, run. Run for your life. Run for your life. You're not running fast enough. See, told you, you're dead. In that. So it's it, like dealing with gogobas. You go-gobas, don't run, they yes. come after you. Gogobuzz, the honey badgers of this episode. Apparently, Gogobuzz is a recently edited article on the Sonic Wiki. I wonder what they say about them. Wow, they actually have a lot of information. Oh, God. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> they have a cultures and lifestyle section. Y- 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 <laughs> to the outside observer, the Gogobuzz are incredibly ni- are, are, are incredible nice and selfless people. On, Beautiful please. editing there. Uh, so they actually, wow, someone went out of their way to write like a nature documentary on them. Okay, where, where is it? I'll do it in the David Ashton voice. <laughs> just, on, here, I'll link it to you. Well, <laughs> oh this, God, this, now we you see can, the Gogobas. You can totally in, do that because just it's in the uh, the characteristics oh and culture my section. Me. Jesus, this is, this is a Jesus who <laughs> Time of formation prior to guilt tripping. Okay. So we'll, we'll start with. Um, oh, well, that, which one do you start with? Just history or the, the characteristics and culture? Which ones do you want? I like the characteristics and culture because okay. it's actually like extrapolated. It's not straight from the show, it is extrapolated information. Let's get some get water because my throat's kind of dying. <coughs> and this is obviously not the sort of voice that will help it. Um, oops. Let me see the bloody thing. There we go. The Gogobas live a simple lifestyle in their village. They have a tribal like society with a chief serving as the overall leader. They are seemingly self sustaining as they grow their own food, but possess no form of self protection, making them an easy target for invaders. This kills the Gogobas. To the outside observer, the Gogobas are incredibly nice and selfish, or selfish, <laughs> selfless people. <laughs> selfless they are people. pretty much, though. However, you'll be, they will be revealed to be selfish if you watch the episode. They always offer the best of their services and resources, 
and do not wish to bother others with their troubles, never once showing consideration for their own well-being and misery, even if they need the gifts they hand out more. This behaviour makes them seem like complete pushovers, as they offer no resistance when attacked. In truth, the Gogobers are experts in manipulating others, using guilt and their selflessness. It's only a facade to further this. While telling about their services to others, or mentioning others' behaviour, the Gogobers casually note how it is how it is at horrible cost for themselves, which instills a strong sense of guilt. This way, the Gogobas' victims cannot say no to them, and the Gogobas are able to guilt-trip their victims into complying to their requests. That said, the Gogobas are not without consciousness, as they can be guilt-tripped as well, which is seemingly the only way to escape them. Not running. You cannot not run from them. Especially not if you running. are a character whose sole purpose is running. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Well, well done. Bravo! Bravo. If, if you're watching this on digital, you can press the red button now and get extra information <laughs> about the Gogobers. Uh, I want the Gogobers up against the poor, poor bears in some sort of terrifying war. Which is a series that neither of these guys will know. <laughs> no, this holds the both of them. <laughs> Ooh, that's over my head. Yeah. That's... Let's check out the community discussion. What they're talking about for this? I'm curious. Well, I've just looked up the um, article about the weasel bandits. Yeah, the weasel bandits. As again, I, I say, I don't know what these things are going on with the with the things on the ears. They don't look like weasels at all from where I am standing. But uh... it's meant to be called tribal. That's why. But I love their description. They're <laughs> two trivia things, though. It makes you giggle, it's like, The neckerchiefs swarm by the weasel bandits are the same colours representing speed, power, and flight types. Blue, red, and yellow. And oh, you know, just Sonic like heroes. regular colours. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this one Whoa. is speed, this one is power, this one is flight. If you ask, Basic If colors. you ask people to list colours, the first three they mention here is red, blue, and yellow. If there was a fourth one, they... the guy would have green, okay? It's like... No, the, the funny thing is the one underneath it is the Weasel Bandits might be based off Fang the Sniper from the Sonic, from the video games, who is also a weasel and a vil villainous treasure hunter who always tries to steal the Chaos Emeralds. Well, like, I, I don't see it. If they were purple, maybe? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I've just read the bit on the right hand side. Okay. Type. Thieving Band. Time of formation. Prior to guilt tripping. Members. Free anthropomorphic <laughs> weasels. Alignment evil. Status active. <laughs> Equipment and or weaponry sacks. <laughs> oh my god, that's they, they also have hats. Okay. <laughs> They've got Tell hats, guys, hats that's and that's neckerchiefs. Right. Oh my god. And shirts and shoes. Oh dear. They've got a sack. What's <laughs> the okay, weapon in the world? These... A sack. <laughs> These are like the only oh, male characters who wear shirts. Mm. I mean, aside from Eggman, thank God for that. But oh, okay. and uh, except all fan expectations of Shadow in the run-up to Boom. <laughs> That's well, no, no. That that was a a overcoat sort of thing. Well, you know, everyone, like, everyone's saying that, her, that Shadow was wearing a Hawaiian oh, shirt. Oh wait, wasn't no, it? the Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian yes, shirt. Which, I, I, which Ian Flynn. God, God bless, bless you, God. sir, for putting that in the Boom comic. Oh dear. Like like I was saying uh, in the Facebook chat before. Uh, I've been reading more of uh, of the Sonic Archie comic to to lead up to Worlds Unite and all that, and uh, God, the writing is the best out of anything, and it's like I sort of wish that like the Sonic Boom this series was allowed to be a little more like it, because you can tell certain things. It's like, for example, Cubot says like, "Well, sadistic as always, your know, worshipness," and it's like. I don't think you can say sadistic in the TV show, but it came off as really funny. 
Oh dear. <laughs> but that, that's the really weird thing is that you've now got the people, you've you've got that atmosphere in the Boom comics, but you've got the Boom comics now being contributed to by the Boom writers. Yeah. Well, Where I does think this there, go wrong? <laughs> I think there is different rules for TV versus yeah. comics. Because, like, like, you would not be able to get away with half the stuff they do in, like, Marvel Comics, like, even their kids' line. Yeah. Uh, you would not be able to get away with that on TV because TV, it's such a thing that, like, people watch and, uh, like, I mean, close, like, parents examine and make sure that nothing can, you know, possibly offend little Johnny. But um, it's interesting for sure because you got that dynamic, yeah. Oh dear. <sighs> also, from the animated from the animated series point of view, that that they tend to be slightly more kid based now. I don't know if that's the, the if that's the the Disney influence, um, or not. A lot of the more animated, the more uh, recent animated series have been, have been slightly younger skewed. Well, it it all it also feels like that the average sort of like content has been dumbed down mm. to like make sure that it's you know because i mean you watch old tom and jerry and it's like it's violent you know and you watch any old cartoon and there is more of an edge and it feels like you can't do that sadly now with a few exceptions i mean like gravity falls they mm. they make it so you know i i love when shows do that but i also know that it's dangerous you could potentially lose jobs or or even uh, contracts just by being a little too edgy. So, you you mentioning Tom and Jerry, sh Tom and Jerry. I now want to watch this episode of Tom and Jerry show that Adam B. Chen wrote. <laughs> I'm just surprised it's like all dialogue or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Tom and Jerry having sure. a, having a discussion over dinner. Or something. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, dear. Wonder if we can get any more information on uh, on this episode and who worked on it. This, this um, particular one, get, we'll get yes. a trip. Um, well, that's the thing because you don't really see any of this. Thing. I'd have loved to have, I'd say that the, the the sound mixer, whoever is responsible for this for the series, because it's not listed uh, on the opening credits at all, and of course you don't see any credits afterwards. So, um, let's see uh, who, who else is. The interesting thing is IMDb lists another director another director uh, yeah IMDB Ooh. Sonic Boom I was say there's a very George Decay <laughs> oh no this is this is the director for <laughs> anyway. all of Sonic Boom okay never mind <laughs> I've never it? really heard this name though this Natalia Srout Swizak oh the bon dieu I've never heard this name um I uh, Natalia, no, I think she's been listed before. Oh, it's because yeah, she's from the uh, the French side. That's why, mm. I think. Yes. I mean, that's a French name, so. Uh, she's from uh, 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 whoever it is. The I can't remember the name is now. Hang on. <laughs> the, I can't remember the name of the French animation company. It's Weedo or something, isn't it? Yeah, Weedo. Um. Yes, hooray! Weedo. I, I remember something. Weedo. No, Weedo. Weedo, Weedo. I just think of the bug bug one now when you say it. And now we have Weedle. Oh, it's gone back to me again. Stop showing me on IMDb. I was no good at <laughs> I want to see Sonic <laughs> Boom. I'm nothing to do with I'm nothing to do with Sonic Boom. Thank God. And is, is that a thing to watch this Sonic Boom from you? Sonic Boom, nineteen fifty nine TV episode now is on that. I mean the TV series, damn it. There we go. Um, hmm. It is currently on TV. Hmm. It's got a rating of 7.2 at the moment. It doesn't have the sound guy, but it has the music guy. Yeah. If you are the sound... <laughs> if you are the sound mixer on Sonic Boom, um, we would like to know who you are. Please stand up and be counted. If in the in the unlikely event that the uh, Sonic Boom people that still watch this are still talking to us after this episode, 
<laughs> yeah, it's like we've been overall positive so far, <laughs> even with Buster. And it's like, and now for the first time, we're very much this. This being is the first one that critical. we actually think is genuinely bad. Buster was the Buster was the the least like, I good episode. Buster. I liked Buster, and it still was like one of the lesser ones yeah. for me. It was, but it like, was no, just, this one. Yeah, this one was just genuinely bad. Bad. Um, so sorry, sorry, anything. Bill. So, sorry, Bill. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing personal. Believe me. Um, I think, to be perfectly honest, that there will be at about one some points there will be times where we, we will say, "Who would be a perfect honest?" Wait, did we poor. did we make note that that the that um, Bill Freiberger, the co-executive producer, is actually comedy chimp. Did we? No, I have never noticed that. That is, that is amazing. Um, Wait, comedy chimp appeared in four episodes. Um, he appeared in, on the TV. Well, on the TV, but we didn't actually see him back when can a evil genius stay on the couch for a few oh, days? Okay. He appeared physically in that other episode. At <laughs> According, according to um, this, it was out of My yeah. Fair Sixie and For, yeah, Fortress of Squalitude, My Fair Sixie, Can Evil Genius Crash on Your Couch for a Few Days, which is actually free, but it's listed as four. I'm not quite sure yeah. why. I was going to say, when was he in Fortitude? The Fortitude one. I. I think he was just in the background. Maybe he probably was just a was background he? character. I don't even. Think I he was find even it funny that. that he's listed among the series cast. There's like actually, you have okay. There's a biography for Comedy Chimp. <laughs> there is Comedy oh, Chimp no. is a character that appears in the Sonic Boom television series. A former comedian and movie star, he's now the host of the late night talk show, The Comedy Chimp Show, as well as Comedy Chimp's New Year's Rocking Banana Cans. <laughs> the character is voiced by showrunner and co-executive producer Bill Freiberger. Thank you, Billy Dash Forty, for writing this for mm, us. I, Billy Dash Forty. I wonder who that is. Hmm. I I wonder I wonder who you are. He did make a he did make a thread post. He did uh, asking for casting lies from fans putting misinformation on the Sonic Boom series. Hmm. So well, well, Billy. Billy is the the slave driver who is pushing this to be one hundred percent accurate, which is good. Good on him. Uh, for some reason, I thought you was going to well, well connect him to Dave the Imp term. No, no, I, no. We're, we're going to connect him with the name Billy to perhaps Billy Freiberg. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never even I actually didn't even think of that. Um, yeah. So so hello, Billy Forsey. We now know who you are. <laughs> Yeah, early on, fans put up some misinformation about the series. Now that is finally airing, those mistakes will be corrected on IMDb. None of the actors you mentioned will appear on Sonic Boom, at least during season one. So yeah, we we now know he's been IMDb member for thirteen years. See all ball posts and actions. We're going to find your stuff now. Um, no, it was just that. It's just that. Uh, yeah. So. Now, now we know he, he put up his own <laughs> so profile. I'm browsing through the tumblr for Sonic Boom like the tumblr tag mm -hmm. and someone asks was Sonic Boom cancelled or something when will episode 10 come out well episode 9 just came out so I'm you know expecting yeah. maybe, maybe to be next week maybe next week we'll just have to wait and see won't we uh, hey there's a picture of Jono here What's he doing in the Sonic Boom tag? One dreads to think. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> so, show me, show me. What's that? Show me! I, was he cosplaying as, as... as comedy chimp yesterday? I don't... <laughs> I don't recall it. Here you go. Was he covered in bandages? I, I... Let's see, what what other things have people said? Oh, There's a picture of Tails' weird face... There's people talking about shipping and writing massive fan fictions. Okay, um, one thing that is notable is the amount of episodes next to the cast's names, which probably good. So, Comedy Chimps been in, appears in four episodes. Cubot mm. appears in ten. Orbot appears in twelve. As does Styx. Wait. Orbot appears in more episodes than Cubot. Absolutely, are they always together? Absolutely, 
But what's rather worrying here is that there is that, that uh, Mike Pollock for Doctor Ivo Eggman Robotnik is, which is exactly the way you should actually be credited. <laughs> like that, actually, is for thirteen episodes. Knuckles is in fourteen. Amy is in fifteen, and uh, both Sonic and Tails are in sixteen episodes. Which means there are three episodes at least that don't no, have. I think Mike I think people are just going off of the the. F- they might be going off of the French shows because the ones in France come out sooner. But at the same time, they might also not be. Uh, hmm. It might not be accurate. I mean, this is IMDb. We, that we, we're we need Eggman in every episode. Every episode. Oh yes, Cause, even cause, just a small role. Yeah, because that episode just that's, didn't that's, even that's, that episode just didn't even start until, <laughs> for me until <laughs> until we had um, Mike Pollock's dulcet tones. I was going to say, I'm just looking up the Beaver on the <laughs> wiki. And... Which I keep, call, which I keep calling a just... gopher. I do apologise, to everybody. Fardivious beaver. Fastidious. Fastidious. Whatever, it sounds like a mouthful. I'm trying to figure out... It is when, you, it is when you've got those episode. teeth, yeah. Well, actually, it's when he has those teeth. I I, I stand corrected in a, seat, <laughs> in a seated position. Still browsing uh, through, looking for anybody to write any sort of actual thoughts on the show to discuss, and people are just talking. Um, okay, here's here's okay. Here we go. Here's someone's episode nine live blog. So this is literally them writing it as the show goes on. So the first thing I missed that intro. <laughs> Their island thing is so cool. It is. It's three that is. riders in all caps. <laughs> keyboard smashing good going Sonic Tails stop being a kiss ass thugs Wait, what? period hooligans period bull guy what the F that was a growl of joy homie homie stop beaver go away <laughs> yes Sonic they are nuts <laughs> Oh my god, god, I'm done with this already. Where's Amy? Where's Styx? Angry Sonic is so cute. Eggman is the best. He literally just shoved him. That was gold. I'm actually laughing. Was that it? Hold your phone sideways and record. Stupid kid SMH. Shut up, Ebates. I'm not going to use you. I don't need insurance state farm. WTF. Yes, I'm also live blogging the ads. Why don't we get two episodes? I missed that. Okay, bye. (laughs) <laughs> what the hell was that? That was someone's just train of thought <laughs> jumping the tracks. We should do that for like our initial. We should do exactly that for our in- initial watch through and then just read them all back. <laughs> because. Oh, dear. That, that's, that's, that's great. That I love those. Oh. Uh. Okay, here's here's someone else's opinion on it. Um, this episode of so- <coughs> oh, I apologize. <laughs> they include the top and everything. I'm sick again every time I do these videos, and it's terrible. But um, this person, uh, I guess I should say who who said that because I mean we are reading their stuff. This was freezing Bella on Tumblr. Um, but uh, going to this person's train of thought, this is a Tom Tastic. It's so, Tomtastic, a bit, like this, a bit like this episode. Uh, <laughs> hey, what are so you calling says, this, this episode Tomtastic? So this person says that this episode made them laugh a little. I noticed I like a heck of a lot of episodes with Sonic and Tails only. Not that the other characters were bad. Uh, he likes the bro-ship between Sonic and Tails. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, um, we, we got another fist bump, incidentally. Just, we did. We, I like we, fist bumps. Yeah. I, I, I forgot to... Uh, Reinform people of the the drinking game rules. <laughs> Sadly, we've done that only with Knuckles because Knuckles is most likely to get fist bumps. Sadly, we don't have a thing like an Archie when whenever they fist bump, the the onomatopoeia for fist bump is bro fist. That is the sound when two fists collide. It literally says bro fist. Bro fist. Bro, bro fist. <laughs> uh, so just bro going fist, on about. 
how Tails is the know-it-all while Sonic is the street smart and it goes well together. To which I say, if Sonic was actually street smart, he would kind of just run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in, in all fairness, I actually, when I watched the episode first time, I was thinking, is, Tails, is this going to end up some, similar to Sonic Lost World where Sonic rushes in Tails? It's like, wait a minute, don't. Oh, great. Here we go. Oh, and then here's people discussing what they think the Gogobas are. Someone says they might be koalas, but koalas don't have long tails. Hmm. I mean, their design was slightly similar to the um, the weasels, actually. So I don't, maybe they're like something of the weasel family. I know this sounds I, I really know, weird, I'm but for some reason, here. I looked at the ears and I was thinking, what animal or what other ca franchise ca series have I seen that has somewhat weird ears like that. chinchilla you know what they could be chinchillas i think that's what they are i'm just racking my brain and i'm pretty sure they might be chinchillas okay chinchilla so, yeah chinchillas have really big ears yeah, yeah. Right, so okay so but they don't have that weird knobbly bit at the end here's star sugar's thoughts which are quite interesting note this is all in all caps <clears throat> This episode was the definition of passive-aggressive, and I swear to God I keep laughing because it was too much. Just damn, that little tribe knew how to lay it down hard. And Sonic plus Tails trying to out-guilt them, and them invading their house, and Eggman effing leaving voicemails for Sonic about his invasion plans and getting pissy he didn't show. But damn, Sonic selling all of them to Eggman in the end. That's kind of a dick move, although it was more to torture him than anything else. Wait, Sonic sold him? I don't know. I just love reading these because it's That's, like that, that was <laughs> well read, incidentally. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of. It, I, I did end the episode just feeling genuinely sorry for Eggman and sort of going, "No, no, that's something. No, no, he doesn't deserve that." Also, actually, another thing is like with, with Eggman leaving the messages. Note: Sonic and Tails go missing. Okay, Eggman is the only one who cares that they've gone missing. <laughs> That is true. Amy That's Knuckles true. of Sticks do not give a shit. Well, okay, okay, to be fair, to be fair, we know where Knuckles is. He's he's on, on the beach. he's outside on the beach doing his his, her, his muscle her, her, That's her. all he does. He literally lives on a like a, a bench to do the bench pressing stuff. Well, we do know that basically he hates leg day as as to those little snippets of he's like that's a like, joke that has actually been said and I'm pretty sure everything except Rise of Lyric I'm pretty sure some joke about Knuckle skipping leg day is in everything but Rise of Lyric um, he's definitely I think it's definitely in the comic um, yes. Sega used it as part of what their social postings um, as part of one of their Facebook images for pro I'm pretty sure it's also in Shattered Crystal because you get to go train with Knuckles, and he says something about leg day. Oh, boy. Her. I just... Oh dear. I'm, just I'm just waiting until Knuckles just got so strong he's able to, like, punch the sun out of existence <laughs> or something. <laughs> no, I, I want an episode where Knuckles just decides he's had enough with his arms, and then he just trains his legs, and then he yeah, gets these little, little thin arms and these massive thick legs. Oh dear. Just the mental image. Oh, that'd be a, great. An, an image must exist of this <laughs> on DeviantArt. I'm gonna Google Knuckles Leg Day and see what Knuckles comes up. Knuckles Leg Day, yeah. <laughs> Like if, like if Knuckles was... Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, show us, <laughs> show us. Just Google it yourself, and you'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> oh, my... By... oh my god! I typed in Nux leg day, and instead I get this. Well, let, let, let me just put in Nux leg day. Go. This is what <laughs> I. <laughs> the third, the fourth image. Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I love just fan art of super freaking ripped knuckles. Oh. Just, just, oh dear. <laughs> just, just everything really with this. Just there are no pictures of exactly what I said, sadly. No. There's ones with him with pretty muscular legs, but then he has even more muscular torso. Uh. The the one from Funny Junk is is glorious. 
Oh my good god. Which one the funny the funny junk this one that I got ripped in two weeks? Oh it. guys. Well, look at this one I've just posted in the Skype. Okay, oh wait. god. What is this? Google.co.uk. Yeah, no, I've seen that. Oh. Baby. <laughs> wait. What are you watching at the moment? <laughs> what? You just went, oh, baby. <laughs> in, a, in a very it awkward what, way. It was what Tom Link. <laughs> oh, dear. That's what I was looking at. Just... <laughs> I. Oh, well, Extra that's enough. Sonic. I got really, really gross stuff with Sonic and Tails, so I think I'm done browsing yeah. Tumblr for Sonic Boom. That's it. I love, okay. I love how like Amy's got the really tiny head in that picture. Yeah. It's, oh boy. Right. I, I think we've come to an end with this. Do we know what episode ten's called? Yeah, dude. Where's my Eggman? Oh, do we? Do where's my Eggman? So we'll, we'll be back. I'm super excited for that one. I think. Although it does, it does indicate that Mike Pollock might not be in the episode until like the very oh, end that's, again. That's true. Oh Damn no, it. guys. What? Oh, I, I, I heard a keystroke. This this won't uh, end well. Why? I'm done. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna put this on the screen on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, no. do it, please. No, no, we're ending here. Look, look, the video's already fading out. It's, it, no, it's, it's, it's everything's fade, going it's, black. It, it's fading to black. Um, please, um, <laughs> please check out if you haven't already the previous episodes of um, the pre-show and post-show on Last Minute Continue. Like this video, comment at the bottom. Uh, probably insult us and uh, we'll see you very soon don't forget the podcast version as well on iTunes do that listen to us on the go like on a bus or while running or in your bed or Whoa. whilst doing leg day <laughs> <laughs> and it's come don't full be. circle it's come full dun, dun, dun. circle and now the sound fades out Whoa.